everyone welcome to today's video sorry i need to not shake my desk because you're on my desk but hi excited to be talking with you guys i feel like i haven't talked with you guys in a while just because i was on the cruise and then um i got back a few days ago it is now january 6th but i i don't know i just want to like catch up with you guys talk some things new year i have new year's whatever i have some stuff from christmas that i want to show you that i got which i already filmed that part um and just do like I don't know, a chatty catch-up video. Sully's snoring, of course. What else would he be doing? Um, my words are not coming out today. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so first I thought we would talk about some 2023 goals that I have for myself. I am determined to make 2023 my freaking year. Like I feel like usually, you know, I make goals and stuff and I, you know, do my best to stick with them and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like I'm thinking of 2023 in a little bit of a different light. Of course, things are gonna come up and not everything is gonna go perfectly and I know that, but I am just almost being a little bit more strict with myself in the sense that I'm like, if I don't accomplish these goals, like I will be mad at myself and not in a bad way, but I just feel like I need to have that discipline in order to you know, do the things that I wanna do. I need to stop saying you know so much. So let me run you through a few of the goals I have planned. I did it a little bit differently this year um, I am doing some year-long goals also I'm breaking it down into some monthly goals that I want to do just because I feel like it will help me like stay accountable instead of just thinking big picture also thinking about the small things I can do each month that will lead me to accomplish those larger goals if that makes sense so starting out with some yearly goals um, number one <laughs> this is a big one I want to make TikTok and or social media my full-time job I am determined to make that happen. I've wanted this for so long and it's so much work and it's hard and to make it in this industry is really, really tough, but it is possible. And so I am doing my very best to make that happen. On TikTok, I've been posting like three-ish times a day, which is a lot. I wanna get back into posting YouTube regularly. I feel like I've been a little MIA just with the holidays and traveling and stuff. So I would like to at least post um, twice a week on YouTube and if possible, throw in like a bonus video here or there and just really make like make this possible, you know, because I put so much time and effort into it and I think to be able to actually accomplish that once and for all would be something that I'd be really proud of. And I'm already proud of, you know, my social media platforms and stuff so far, but that's something I've wanted for so long and I am determined to make that happen this year. Number two, going along with that, I said post two times daily on TikTok. So far, I've been keeping up with that. I think that will be pretty like standard for me and I think that's definitely doable. Um, I would also like to completely switch in gears. I'd like to read 20 books this year. So far, I'm at like mm, an eighth of a book, but I'm gonna get better. I've just been so busy that I haven't had time to read a ton, but I definitely wanna get back into that. I think last year I started reading around July, August, and I wanna say I did 12 or 13, maybe 14 books. So it's definitely possible. I just need to like actually take the time to read and like get off my phone. Sometimes take a break from like editing TikToks, you know, stuff like that. So I definitely think that is also possible. I just need to like actually focus on it. My next goal is to do morning workouts at least four times a week. I kind of got out of the habit of working out in the morning and I wanna get back into it. So far, um, I've worked out every single morning since I got back from my trip and I've just been feeling so good about it. Like starting out your day with a workout is just, there's no better feeling. So I wanna stick to that. I've been doing a 14 day challenge by Sammy Clark for right now, which has gotten me really motivated. But even after the challenge ends, I wanna at least work out in the morning four times a week so that the other day or a couple days I work out in the week, I can do an afternoon one and go to hot yoga at night, whatever it may be, I think that's a good goal. Lastly, I would like to start walking more. Ideally, I would like to hit 10,000 steps a week. A week, no, I have that written down. I meant a day, um, at least a few times a week. My goal is five, to be honest, I have not been doing that so far. I have not been walking at all. I need to start pushing myself to go on outdoor walks because I know how good that is for you. Maybe I'll go on one today, actually. Um, but I, I don't know, something about walking doesn't really intrigue me that much, but I know it's so good for you. And when I do actually go, I do enjoy it. So wanna push myself for that. And then lastly, my yearly goal is to just be kind to myself. I feel like I'm very hard on myself. I am, 
you know, we're all our like worst critics, but I just want to like have better self-talk to myself. You know what I mean? Like I want to just treat myself better, be kinder to myself, to my body, to my brain, all that stuff. I wish I was a little bit more specific in that, but I don't know exactly what that looks like. So kind of figure that out as we go. Um, but those were my yearly goals. I wanted to keep it, you know, simple and things that hopefully slash I can achieve because I want to be able to look back at this in 2024 or at the end of 2023 and be like, yeah, like I freaking did that. So those are my yearly goals. Moving on to monthly, starting with January, I have not been doing this. I need to be better. I honestly need to put a sticky note on my mirror because that will help me or help remind me. So I'm gonna do that actually after I finish filming this clip. Um, number one for January, or no, I'm only doing one per month, sorry. January, tell myself three compliments or affirmations every morning and every night. Sounds stupid, I know, but little backstory here. Whenever I do hot yoga, I, um, at the end, when you're in Shavasana and you're kind of just like breathing and staying very still at the end, <sighs> weird i don't know people are gonna think that's weird but i during that whole time i sit and i tell myself affirmations like silently in my head and there's something about that that's like so empowering so i want to incorporate that more into like my daily life so every morning and night i want to say three affirmations whether it's like you know i am a good fiance or i am turning into the best version of myself or i am kind to everyone that i see or meet whatever it is i just think that those things are important to remind yourself about yourself because we're always complimenting other people i think it's important to reflect on what you do that's good or how you are as a person you know so that's january um and then for february and march i'll say those two and then i'll leave the rest for like another video down the line later in the year february i want to do daily journaling i keep going in and out of that habit and i would like to stick to it so February is only 28 days. I want to stick to journaling every single morning, if possible, also night for those 28 days. And then lastly for March, I want to hit my water intake every day. Sounds stupid. I am pretty good about my water intake for the most part, but if I find myself being busy or if I'm not at home for the majority of the day, whatever it is, I find myself kind of straying away from that a little bit. So I would like to make sure I'm focusing on that. That really goes for any month um throughout this year but i was like let me dedicate an entire month to making sure that every single day of that month i do hit my water intake so that i can at the end of the month be like wow i feel so much better my skin is great my body is feeling better my digestion whatever it is i just think it'll be great to focus on that and i also got another one of these stanley cups for christmas i have two now because yusuf gave me one and then my sister also gave me one so i feel like those are helping me drink a lot more water as well so those are my goals so far for 2023 let me know what your goals are let me know what your goals are i'm very interested to hear i think we can all share our goals together and help accomplish them together or like cheer each other on i think that'd be really fun so hopefully that inspired you or was fun to hear i don't know but i did film some things that i got for christmas yesterday so i'm gonna throw that in here all right i have no idea where i'm gonna throw this into a video but i want to show you a few things that i got for christmas before i put everything away um i put away a good portion of stuff but wanted to show you a couple of the things i'm like most excited about i don't know first yusuf got me this um skims pajama set i i don't know why i'm showing you the tag it's skims I'm obsessed with this. It's long sleeve and then I have the matching pants literally on the floor because I wore them last night. Um, I love this set. I understand the hype around the Skims pajama sets. I still think that they are expensive, but I will be investing in some more sets in the future probably. I don't know why I keep slapping everything. I need to chill out, but I absolutely love that set. I've worn it like basically every day that I've been at home since i got it this is a um ebb to flow no ebb to street what is it called ebb to street tank yes um it's the ribbed wait hold on here you go it's the um brown rib tank from lulu i actually showed a dupe of this in the amazon video that i did of lulu dupes um pretty recently but this is obviously the real one i got this one and then i also got it in black i haven't worn this yet but i know i'm gonna love it it's like such an easy tank to just throw on Got two of these frames, which I am so pumped about. They're from Crate and Barrel, as you can tell. Let me, I guess I like could have been more prepared for this. These frames are also really heavy, so 
it looks like I'm being dramatic, that's why. My camera's having trouble focusing, but, oh my god, come on. But it's an acrylic frame, you can like stand it up like that, and I got two of those, so really excited about those. I also got these shoes, which I'm freaking pumped for. Um, I haven't worn these, obviously, because I wanted to show you guys, but love these. I think these are going to be so easy to just like throw on with basically anything. That's that. This blanket I am absolutely obsessed with. It's a monogrammed blanket in this like brownie taupe color and this cream white color. And then they're little smiley faces, but it's my future initials. So SL, useless last name, starts with an L. So I love this. I think it's so cute. It's neutral that you can like throw it on anything, but it's like fun and personal. So love that. This is a white tee that Yusuf got me from Aritzia. It was on my list. Love that. These are Bala weights, bands. I don't know what you'd call these, but they're the ones that you can wear on your wrists or your ankles. I've been wanting these for a while. I didn't even think to put these on my list, but Yusuf got them for me. And I actually used them this morning and really liked them. So love those. I also got a new pair of AirPods. I've been using these like crazy. The ones I had were not the pros. They were the regular ones. Um, but if they just randomly stopped working, one of the headphones would always, or like earbuds would never work. So, um, Yusuf got me a new pair, which was very nice. And I used to not want the pros because the like earbud, the, this piece was too big, but they came out with like extra small ones or whatever. So now they fit great. Then over here, um, Yusuf also got me two road lip peptide lip treatments, whatever they're called. I didn't understand the hype with these and now... I genuinely love these. And then I wasn't gonna show this because I don't want this to come across the wrong way. I am so ridiculously grateful for everything that I got. I, hold on, let me turn this around. Ignore this giant breakout in my face, but Christmas is so not about like the physical gifts or the money that goes into it anymore for me. I feel like growing up, it is. Like as a kid, you know, like that's what you look forward to um, like on Christmas. But as I've just continued to grow up and have just, I don't know, I guess matured. I really understand and appreciate Christmas for just like being with family. So I hope that me showing this doesn't come across the way or like the wrong way and doesn't come across braggy. I was very hesitant to even show stuff in the first place. Um, but I like watching this type of stuff. So I didn't want to do a whole video on everything that I got because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but I still want to share some fun things. So I hope you guys know where I'm coming from. I think you will because you all are like great. You know, I love you all and you all are like very understanding. But anyway, lastly, I did get this purse, which again, ridiculously lucky and grateful and blessed. And um, I know this is like a very expensive and luxury item to own, but I want to show you because I'm really excited about it. And I know I'm going to be wearing it in like future videos and vlogs and stuff. And um, if you're wondering like when I got it or whatever, I don't know. I wanted to show you. So I got the pretty dust bag or is that what it's called? Dust bag. Not luxury enough to know, but um, this is what it looks like. I have never seen a bag that is more me. Like, are you kidding me? This is the most me bag ever. You guys know I wear my um, two different Lululemon belt bags, and I just love having something that's like cross body. You know, I guess I have to wear this one. I love having something that's cross body. Like, this is just me. So, it has this little pouch right here. I forget what this one is called, to be honest. I can put it on the screen here in case any of you happen to be interested, although it's very pricey. But it has that little pouch right here. The strap is actually like this green color, which is really pretty. I didn't think I would like a color on a purse, but I love this. It's really neutral and pretty. And then it has two bags actually at the bottom. So they're like little, um, I think they're called pochettes. Pochette? I could be wrong, but I think it is. You can actually take like all of this apart. So if I wanted to just have like one bag on it, I could. I could also take this chain and have it on just one instead of having this giant strap. So it's pretty like almost customizable, if you will. You can take this thing off as well. So you can do a lot with it, which is why I am so excited about that. Again, I'm so lucky, I know. And yeah, anyway, okay, let's get back to the rest of this video. I just wanted to show you a few things so I can finally put this away because it's been sitting here for so long. January 5th or 6th today, something like that. So I need to put this away. Again, like I was saying in that clip, I hope that none of that comes across braggy. I am so grateful for everything that I got. And I'm just like, I'm feeling really good. I think 2023 is gonna be a really good year. I'm getting married this year, which is so crazy. In October, we're a little less than nine months away, which is insane. Um, we're gonna go to India this year. 
surprise, I haven't talked about this, but we're going to Paris in just about a month, actually. We're going in February. We're gonna be there for Valentine's Day. I am so excited. I cannot even express how excited I am to go to Paris. I've gone for like eight hours on the way home from Greece. We went to the Eiffel Tower. I went with my dad, had some champagne there, and then pretty much had to get back to the airport to continue our flight home. It was like a long layover that we took. So uh, I haven't obviously really gotten to explore Paris, so I am so excited. It's just Yusuf and I going. It's gonna be the first trip that we've really done all on our own out of the country. And that's gonna be freaking epic. So more that type of content to come because I wanna do some shopping for that. I need to up my fashion gear for that. And I will obviously, or probably be filming while I'm there as well. So it's gonna be a good year. Happy to have you guys here for the entire year. I need to get back to work. It's Friday, um, we're about halfway through the work day, but I want to take a little break to just chat with you guys for a bit. So I'm gonna get back to work and then I will pick this back up later. guys in a bit um, I obviously finished the work day and then I went on a walk which I really did not want to do to be honest but me telling you guys my goals earlier like almost held me accountable because I was like that's one of my goals obviously and I haven't really done it as of lately at all really going on walks I did a little bit on the cruise my parents and I and my sister would like walk around the track on the cruise a bunch but anyway since I've been back I haven't and so me saying that, I was holding myself accountable and I was like, I wanna be able to tell you guys that I did go on a walk. So, I went on a walk, it wasn't that long. What am I doing? <laughs> Take off my makeup, I'm not doing it while I'm talking. I don't know. But, still did go on a walk, so that was good. And then I just went to Target. I'm not even gonna really show you what I got because it's nothing exciting. The shirt is looking weird, it's supposed to be like under there. I really just got some like essentials that I had been needing. Um, and then I got like a couple snack things and that's pretty much it. Although I did also get a binder for wedding planning slash wedding basically everything because like I said, our wedding's in nine months, less than nine months now. And so it's, it's not crunch time, but like we are starting to, or I am starting to think more about like the details and things like that. And I thought a binder would be helpful to have like everything in one place in terms of like contracts, but also like the shot list for the photographer and decor kind of inspiration for my month of coordinator to set up at the venue and just stuff like that. So I'm gonna start to get that, all that together. Once I do have that together, I can definitely show you guys. I'm trying to wash my face, but if I go this way towards my sink, then I'm out of frame. So I honestly, let me end this off and take this off for a second so I can not look insane while I end off this video. But I am gonna end off the video because I'm just gonna be hanging out for the rest of the night. You're not missing anything. And this video is already very chatty. And I know if I talk too much more, it will get quite long. And I don't wanna bore you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been so fun just catching up with you all. And I've missed just hanging out with you guys. So thank you for staying till the end of this video. I'm filming a morning routine tomorrow. I don't know if you're gonna see that before this video or after this video, but I'm really excited to film that. It's gonna be like a motivational morning routine type thing for 2023. So look out for that if it's not already up. Um, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Also, Happy New Year. I don't know if I said that, but Happy New Year.